celebrate our pastor's 37th year being honored as a woman of God. Right. We're going to bring you two selections. One is the face of Sir Jesus, and the second is I came to Tilly. Man. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Let it chill and get cold Let it chill my body But not my soul I came to tell you I came to tell you I came to tell you He said He said It chill my body, but not my soul. Said if you don't believe, I've been redeemed. Follow me down, follow me down, follow me down to the Jordan stream, to the Jordan River. Said it chill and cold. Said it chill my body. Said it chill my body. Said it chill my body. But not my soul. Anybody been to the river? Anybody been baptized? Has your soul been converted? And you feel alright? Has your soul been converted? Has your soul been converted? Has your soul been converted? And you feel alright? Say the amazing grace. Say how sweet the sound. Let's say the rich. Let's say the rich. That say the rich, a rich like me. Said I once was lost. And if I hear been lost, and if I hear been lost, and if I hear been lost, has your soul been converted? Has your soul been converted? Has your soul been converted? And you feel alright. Has your soul been converted? Amen. Give an honor to God again to, to my pastor. To all of our pastors and ministers and evangelists on today, I just thank God for having this opportunity to speak to you on words of encouragement. Usually I do poems. I don't know who fixed this up, but and when I started thinking about this, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I encourage or speak on words of encouragement for? And when I look at the program, it says 37 years. I mean, she's been preaching about as long as I've been alive. I might have been lying for four years, but you know, it, it don't matter. <laughs> We're not going to try to calculate that. But to 37 years, what can I say? How can I encourage my pastor? So I started stressing out. I said, Lord, you got to give me what to say. I don't know what to do. I'm going to tell I'm going to stand up for all these people and say this. I can do poems. They're easy. Basically, I laugh, but this is serious. So he gave me to think about myself. I'm a parent. Okay, so we're going to see how this goes. So I thought about the number of times my pastor has preached, and I've said in the congregation, I'll say, go ahead, pastor. Some of y'all said that too. Um, You're helping me preach. You said that to your pastor. Oh, yeah. And that's well and good, and that makes her and anybody else feel good when they're standing up. When I'm standing in front of you and you clap, that makes me feel good. Yeah. But we're talking about words of encouragement. But have you thought about encouraging your pastor another way? And I said I was a parent, and as a parent, raising my children, my husband and I raised our children, and I would help them with spelling words, I'm trying to teach them how to keep these words in their memory, teach them that pattern, taught them how to ride a bike, that was hard, driving a car, Lord mercy, but I did the best that I knew the Lord helped me to teach them what I thought was right. Okay, when they brought their grades home, and I saw that A, they felt good because they listened to what I said. They obeyed me. They practiced what we had practiced at home. Okay? So whatever the case was as they were growing up, and I would help them, the end result encouraged me. So now I'm thinking of my pastor. Pastor is a shepherd, right? They help us, which are God's sheep, the right way, the best way they know, the way that they let the Lord lead them. So as a pastor, as a parent, I'm sorry, when my children passed their test, they made some peer marks from band. I felt good. I was like, let's do this. Let's do it again. <clears throat> so when I think of my pastor and all pastors, they teach us how to live. That's right. They teach us how to treat others. That's right. They treat us how to strive to build God's kingdom on earth. Amen. Listening to them, remembering what they taught us, 
and obeying their words and mimicking their actions, that's encouragement. Amen. That's why they stand behind these pulpits. That's why they labor for the Lord. That's why they stand up and preach to people who may not be listening all the time. All right. But the end result of what you do encourages them. Amen. So here's a challenge from me to you. I take it first. Encourage your pastors, I will mind, with obedience. Practicing what I've learned under her guidance, what you learn under your pastor's guidance, and live the life that they taught us to live by building God's kingdom on earth. Amen? Amen. 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 So the most important thing I heard Sister Heather say was to follow the instructions of our pastor. Follow those instructions. They're the mold. They're the example. They're the example. So I believe that I've been here at Holy Temple 12 years. I believe if I follow my pastor, I can't go wrong. I can't go wrong. Hallelujah. And it's been an honor and a privilege to follow her lead. Sister Walker. Did y'all say 37 years? Did you say 37 years? Just think about how many a leave that she took after she left church for 37 years. Think about it. You know how we is. We ain't gonna never do what we're told. We want to do what we want to do. Huh? Y'all call me the same. Gotta get my word out the first. Huh? 37 years of working with us. You know, they don't talk about goat herders too much. They talk about sheep herders. <laughs> sheep follow where you lead. Goats, you got to drive them. You don't lead no goat. And we probably twist in between. A half lead and the rest, you got to drive. Huh? But I can imagine, Sister Walker, as long as you got Jesus. Huh? As long as you got Jesus. For 37 years, you had to have it. Ain't no other way. Huh? Ain't no other way. At least the church ain't like your wife. You know, you, you get tired of the church, you can go home. Get tired of your wife, she at home. Watch out, women. Uh, <laughs> at least you could go home and get some rest. Huh? Maybe that's why I stay away from home so much. Amen. My wife ain't here tonight, so, so y'all ain't got to go. I ain't coming back with a bloody head. As long as I got Jesus, as long as I got Jesus, as long as I got Jesus, y'all. I said, as long as I got Jesus, that's all you need, Sister Walker. That's all you need. Come on. As long as I got the Holy Ghost. As long as I got the Holy Ghost, as long as I got the Holy Ghost, I said, as long as I got the Holy Ghost, listen, talk about me if you want to, scandalize my name, as long as I got Jesus Church going on just the same. Help me why I said, there may be time when my friends are few. Long, long as I got Jesus, you see me through. This all right. This all right. This all right. This all right. Yeah, I got Jesus, and I know 
I got Jesus Church I know Not gonna worry about it Not gonna be afraid I got Jesus Do everything he say Yea, though I walk Through the valley Shells up death now I won't feel no evil I won't feel no evil I got Jesus is all right, all right, Jesus. If you said it, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. And in all I come to tell you, those of you that read your Bible, you ought to know when I tell you these words in the book of Matthew. He tells us to know, no fault, no what we should leave, no what. We should wear, because he is high on the sparrow. Tell me what do you think about you and me? I got Jesus, church I know. I got Jesus, church I know. Amen. As long as I got Jesus. Says walk. I'm going to do just a little taste of this one for you. Right. Because it's your day. All right. huh? yeah. And the choir don't know. Right. Huh? Right. But I'm going to do just a little touch for you. Right. Huh? Right. You know, we was here the fifth Sunday. Right. And Sister Walker was talking about moving the room with the Lord. Right. Huh? Right. Move in the room with the Lord. Right. You know, nowadays everybody want to move in. Huh? But they don't want to move in right. Yeah, I'm gonna move in the room with the Lord. Room with the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Room with the Lord. I must stop. You got to stop here, y'all. So let's deal. Move. Room with the Lord. Hey, hey move. Room with the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Room with the Lord. I must stop. Sure got to stop here, y'all. So let's feel. With the law, let me say a voice. Listen, must Jesus bear cross alone? All the world go free. There's the cross for everyone. There's a cross for me. Hey, hey. Room with the law. Yeah. Room with the Lord I must stop Sure got to stop here, y'all So let's feel 